Today, teachers with the Kern High School District learn life-saving techniques to protect students. Eyewitness News reporter Katia Hall shows us what they learned and how these tips can stop the bleed. Katia? Well, Dave Rochelle, student athletes face all sorts of risks on the field. Today's class uh, taught teachers how to deal with an injury before first responders arrive. Today, the tables have turned. Teachers are at the desk learning the ABCs on how to stop the bleed. All with the intent of providing extra support and safety for our student athletes of the Kern High School District. You can try the gauze, which is, they look some of this as a trainer gauze. With the help of Kern Medical, the athletics department is learning how to protect its students. There's a number of, you know, full contact sports that take place from football to soccer to you name it. It's all a part of a national campaign to train bystanders to help in an emergency situation before professional help gets on scene. We just have to be fully prepared in case of the worst. Each teacher has a kit. Inside, tourniquet, gauze, latex gloves, scissors, and more life-saving devices. It um, enables them to be more aware of what incidents could occur, as well as helping to keep um, students safe and keeping them in the game. Just pull it like this so you can see, and just start stuffing it. Just Hope Guerrero is one of the instructors. She shows them how to pack a wound, apply pressure, and use a tourniquet. It can help preserve tissue, it can help preserve the limb, and it also um, increases the chance of less nerve damage to a wound. And by the time the class period's over, everyone learns how to save a life. We want to offer as much professional development to our staff, our teachers, any personnel that we have. We want to give them the most new and up-to-date information. And if you would like more information about this program, you can visit our website later tonight. Reporting in studio, Katya Hall, Eyewitness News. Back to you.